campfireless cooking. Somewhat of a tongue twister. One little secret to becoming super efficient in the woods is to become an instructor, to teach survival bushcraft outdoor living skills because you have students that you're tending to, you have a million other things going on, and your priorities of food and sleep just like get pushed to the wayside. So you really, really learn and absorb a lot of different tips and tricks that you learn over the years to make life just comfortable. And one of those things is food. Now it doesn't just apply when you're teaching. This trick that I'm gonna teach, I actually learned from some ultralight backpackers. They use it all the time. And I thought, hey, that is actually pretty smart. And it's great for the time of the year like now when it's super, super hot and you really don't wanna cook over a campfire. So if you carry something like beef jerky along with you as a protein source, you're sort of stuck with like per, like bars, like cliff bars or something like that to you know get carbohydrates in your system. If you're like me, that it gets old after a while. I mean, you can only eat so many bars. But I personally can eat rice all day long like all day long, I absolutely love rice. So what does this have to do with bushcraft and this channel itself? So what this has to do with it is again, that no campfire or you're really, really busy and you know you're not gonna get too much time to cook. You can prep this rice while you're doing other things. It's super easy. You can carry a lot of this along with you on the trail or into the woods in a separate bag and then take a container. Now I'm gonna do what the ultralight guys do and that's take a peanut butter jar and um, it's emptied out, and then all that I do is I fill it with rice, okay? So we'll fill that with about a cup of dry, instant rice. And then take your water bottle, and for how much rice you put in, put about that much water. I mean, if you want to really measure this out, you can, but for me, I mean, just eyeballing it's gonna work fine. Now, throughout the day, while this sits, it's going to rehydrate, and it honestly doesn't take that long. Within an hour, you can eat this for sure. But what I like to do with this is mix it up once or twice. If I need to add a little bit more water because it absorbed all of this, I will. And if you put a little too much water in, that is not a problem at all. After it's all done hydrating, that water will just sit at the bottom. You can simply take off the lid and pour off that excess water and then you have yourself rice. So because I'm working here for the day at the school property, I'm gonna just set this off to the side. Once this rehydrates, I'll show it to you and you can see how easy, I mean, I do nothing. This is like the easiest way to cook and I'm not sweating next to a campfire. And there you go, about two hours later, my rice is all finished. You can see there's not even excess water in there. It absorbed everything. Now, like I said earlier in this video, you can go through here and you can test the rice as the day goes on if you need to add a little bit more water. But normally, like one part rice, one part water is gonna work just best. And literally, that's like it just came out of a rice cooker except cold. So. This is a great, great method. It works really well, it's fast, it's simple, and it just gets you on with your day. And I didn't need to make up a campfire to cook my rice or boil anything. I just made it right in a container here and um, I'm ready to go. So remember, carbohydrates in the woods, hard to find, but if we carry them with us like this, it's lightweight, and then we can get a lot of energy out of this. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tip and try it out. And um, yeah, definitely give it a shot. And until the next video, stay in the woods.